Hello, everyone. So I'm uh, just uh, showing you a new game today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say I just beat 10,000 views on my channel now. I just surpassed that, and uh, that's pretty exciting. So thank you to all of you for watching my videos. Um, and as for this video, well, one of my viewer subscribers, uh, Harefield HD, a little shout out there, asked me to do a, a kind of guide on tutor or a tutorial on Terraria here. Um, so I thought I'd do that, and it was a month ago he asked, but I'm just getting around to it now. Um, I did my guide on Left 4 Dead 2, and uh, figured I'd do uh, something similar for this. So um, to start with, you can chop down trees, and um, yeah, this is just going to cover the basics to start with, and if you want to see more, do let me know. Um, I'm just going to go over, you know, simple stuff uh, to start you off and get you started quickly, like building a house, uh, how to craft items, find resources, that kind of stuff. So, uh, as I say, just chopping down some trees to start with because I'm going to use these to build my house. And in fact, I'm also going to want some of this stone. I'll show you why a little later. Um, and that works out because I want a nice even uh, floor for my house as well. So let's just dig it into the ground here a little. Now you're going to need houses, uh, if you've played Minecraft, a lot of the ideas are very similar in Terraria. Um, you're going to do a lot of crafting, getting resources, um, you know, you're going to build a house, there's, there's uh, other stuff going on of course. Um, one of the things about Terraria is uh, that there is like a progression to it. Um, like you can sit around and you can explore, like I can just run as far as I can to the left and the right and see what it was, what's over there and you can run around and explore and everything. Um, but there are kind of objectives at the same time. Um, so, like there are boss fights, um, there are various things uh, that you can actually do. And you're gonna find, like you're gonna see cool videos that people have made where they're flying around and zapping all kinds of stuff and you're gonna wonder, well, how can I do that? Um, and it's not at all obvious when you first start the game, uh, you know, how you can actually uh, do that. So that's what I'm going to show you um, is, first of all, just how to, um, you know, make your first house um, and how to get started with your crafting. Uh, the fact is there's, there's a very advanced crafting system in this game. And uh, eventually you're going to need um, a lot of materials and, and you're going to need to, you know, complete and find all kinds of stuff just to be able to get where you're, where you're trying to go in the game. Um, you actually have to defeat one of the major bosses to go into what's called hard mode, which is the point at which you can finally do a lot of those cool things like fly and, you know, get the really cool equipment and all that kind of stuff. You actually have to work for a while before you even get to that point. So that's what I'm going to, you know, just start you off on getting there um, today. So you can see you've got, you know, your, your basic inventory items up in the left. You start with a sword. Um, this is like normal mode. You can do expert mode, which is going to be tougher, but this is just normal mode to get started with. Um, so they've given you some stuff. You've got a, a copper sword. You've got a copper pickaxe, a copper axe. Um, and of course, I've just chopped down some trees, so I got a bunch of wood. Um, I've got some acorns, which you can use to plant uh, other trees. So if there's some open space, you can just drop some acorns on the ground and, and that'll grow up trees. Uh, another little tip here, when you're chopping trees, I like to leave a bit of the tree at the bottom because that tree will actually regrow over time. If you chop it right at the bottom, uh, that tree is gone. You're going to have to replant it from an acorn. And that's going to take longer if you chop it a little ways up these trees it'll regrow and you'll have more wood that you can use later on so um yeah let's get started um oh yeah now i kept a wood, wooden chair and a wooden table but um because i was messing around a little uh before but what you'll need to do uh, this is the pc version the controls on console will vary of course on here, you push escape, that brings up your expanded view, your full inventory. Um, you can hit these numbers in the, the ones in the top left, that's your top row of inventory to switch to those ones quickly. Um, and you need to bring up this full view to see your full inventory and to see um, the things that you can craft down here on the left. Um, now, again, you can hit this button, which is your, your crafting menu to see an expanded view of what you can currently craft, of course. I don't have anything to craft with right now, so the first thing I'm going to need to make is a workbench. And that's going to allow you to uh, to start crafting the more interesting items. Um, that's your first step, make your workbench. Now I'm standing on my workbench, see if I go over here, 
oh, I can't craft nearly as much stuff. If I'm near my workbench that I just made, now all of a sudden I can craft some stuff. So let's make a door. I can put a door on my little house now. Um, let's see, I've got a fair bit of mud, so you need to do not only the walls around you, which I've done here, uh, but you'll need to do uh, backing on your house as well, so that's your back wall. So let's make a bunch of that, and then I'll just spam this around. And uh, this is, you know, not just to make it look pretty, but there's NPCs in the game, non-player characters, and uh, when you meet certain requirements, they'll be available to join your game, but first of all, you need to create houses for them. So you'll actually want to create not only your own house, but uh, you'll want to create some additional houses for, for the NPCs so that uh, when um, you fulfill those requirements, then they can have a place to live, and if you've created a house for them, that's where they're going to show up. So. Again, let's fill that in. Oh, my place is a lot darker. This is a good time to talk about torches. Um, so you don't need to have a workbench to create torches, but uh, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> you can create torches anywhere you go, but what you'll need uh, for torches is some wood, which of course I got a ton of, and you'll also need some of this gel, which you get by killing those slimes. Um, so now I can make some torches. You'll, you'll, you can choose it from the menu here, but you still have to uh, choose it from the bottom left here to actually uh, craft some of those. So let's just go ahead and make a bunch. I'll put a little flame up in each corner, light our little house. There we go. We'll put the rest in my inventory here for later. Um, oh yeah, and I've already made the wooden chair and wooden table. Uh, obviously you need to do this at your workbench um, and you need a bunch of wood to do it with. So here we go. We'll just go ahead and put these in as well. Um, these are required for uh, the non-player characters. Um, your house, see this is what's now considered a complete house. You don't actually need the workbench for the NPCs, but you do need a fully surrounded house with the full wall at the back, and you need your table and chair or equivalent. There are other things you can use, but those are the easy ones. So um, now that we've got that, we've got our, uh, our workbench here, I think. Let's see, do I have everything? Yes, I have everything to create a furnace. This is gonna be your next step. So as you craft one thing, um, a crafting station, which your uh, your uh, workbench is a crafting station, that allows you to, uh, once you have the right materials, craft your next crafting station, which in this case is a furnace. Uh, let's see how far over, yeah, I can do this. So now I can put my furnace in here and I can use that to smelt ores. So, uh, well, They've been kind enough to, uh, oh, is this not able to open? Oh, oh, there we go. It just wants to open inward because of that tree probably. Okay, so you can open, you can just right click, uh, open and close your door. So, um, yeah, I swear this is easier than the first time I played it. They've left some, some ore laying around here. Um, and speaking of ores, you're going to get a bunch of different types of ores. There are certain tiers kind of a thing, and it depends on your actual world that, uh, that you've joined or spawned into as far as what ores are available. Um, so this one appears to have lead, which means usually you'll have lead or iron. Um, and you can, you can create an anvil out of either lead or iron. So um, the question now is going to be, do we have enough lead here to create my uh, anvil? Which I'm going to say probably not. We're probably going to need some more. But uh, we can go over here, give you the example. Um, now that I have a bunch of lead, I can go to my furnace and I can smelt some lead bars from the ore that I created or that I collected. So let's say I've got 11. That's going to give me oh, three bars. I think I need five for an anvil. So we're going to have to uh, go explore for some more there. Uh, let me go do that and then I'll get back to this. Okay, so I've uh, gone and gathered some more lead. You can see I was digging a tunnel down here. It's filled with slimes now. I uh, put those torches around. You, again, you need uh, wood and gel to make those gel you get by killing the slimes. Um, so I've got some more lead. I've crafted it in some bars, and now I can make an anvil. And uh, actually, this is kind of the major thing that we had left to do here. Um, so now I've got my workbench, my furnace, my uh, anvil, and that's enough to get you started. Um, you can dig around for ore like I did randomly here, which was completely useless. Um, or you can wander around at the beginning of the game. They'll leave a, a little bit uh, near ground level for you. 
um, so you can find it relatively easily. Um, now I've also uh, gone and chopped down some more trees, so I've got some more wood. I uh, actually kind of accidentally already made a wood helmet, but I'll want to make a breastplate here as well. Um, I can equip that over here on the right. I've got my uh, helmet that I already made in my inventory. Let's put that on. Um, and I can make some greaves, which are your uh, leg coverings. Um, and there you go. Now I've got a full set of armor. Um, so, you know, this is a crappy set of armor. This is basically the crappiest you can get. Uh, it's all made out of wood. But, uh, you know, it's something, and that's better than being naked. And so I can go and fight these slimes and die a lot less. Um, I accidentally talked to him. Okay, so... Now I've improved my defense, I'm ready to go exploring, I can start looking for ores. You can uh, melt down your ores into bars and use those uh, at the anvil to make uh, better armor. So you can make you know, lead or iron or you can do copper. Uh, but of course what you're going to want to do is use your higher level ones like uh, at least tungsten or uh, your gold and platinum. Again, it depends on your world for what's actually going to be available. Um, but here you go, you've got a basic house, you've got your three different crafting stations, um, and you can start exploring, digging, adventuring, um, and you'll want to start with upgrading your equipment, and then you can look to finding out about bosses, you want to build some more houses so you can have some more NPCs. Um, so build some houses, you know, you can do it as you need it, you can build a bunch, whatever. Um, but you, know, you need to unlock uh, and fulfill certain requirements in order to get the NPCs to come and live in those houses. And uh, they'll show up in the menu, um, you'll begin to get uh, people showing up as available in here, and you'll be able to assign them to those houses. Uh, and that's kind of the basics, actually. Um, so again, First thing, build your house. You can build it out of mud, whatever. You can cut down some trees, build it out of wood, make your back wall, make your door, um, and then make your wood bench. It's one of the first things you can craft. Um, go to the crafting menu, choose it, just place it. Um, now for NPC houses, you want your table and chair so that they'll be comfortable, have a place to stay, and then when you fulfill the requirements, they'll, be, they'll come. Um, and then you'll want to make your furnace. For that, you're going to need 20 stone blocks. Uh, these are sitting on some stone, so that's what that looks like. Um, so you'll need 20 stone blocks. You'll need enough wood, and you'll need some of these torches. Again, torches, um, wood, and gel. Uh, you can also build wood platforms, which are going to be important early in the game. Um, so you can go mining. You can use those as like platforms. You can you know stick one down here so you can jump up easier, that kind of thing. Um, I actually, uh, why don't I go show you? I took a bunch of uh, wood platforms and stuck them along um, a little bit of water over here so I can walk over top more easily. So you'll see there's this big pool of water and I didn't want to fall in and drown too easily so I just built a wooden platform all the way across the top. You can build sky bridges. Um, there's where I found my lead and got killed by an ice slime which is pretty embarrassing because <laughs> I didn't have my armor yet. So that's, that's why you need your armor to protect you so you don't get killed so easily. Um, and as you you know go through your mine, you'll find like heart things that, that give you a chance to uh, increase your health. Um, you can go around and get those. You can get your metals, upgrade your armor again. You can create uh, better swords with better materials. You can create better mining, uh, like a pickaxe and a regular axe that'll help you mine and cut down trees faster, as well as allow you to get uh, things that you couldn't get otherwise, like for instance, you need a gold or platinum um, pickaxe in order to be able to mine uh, meteorite stuff, which will come in later in the game. So, um, you know, there's a whole progression system that goes on. Um, you'll need to defeat some bosses. You'll notice there's a day and night cycle. It's getting dark again. Um, that's another reason you need your house early on, because at night the zombies come and there's these eye things that come. And, uh, you know, you need to be prepared for that. So you'll need your house and you'll want your armor, preferably. Um, so you can hide, you can fight them, whatever. Uh, eventually, when you defeat uh, the right bosses, some of those things will go away. Um, so then your nighttime will be more peaceful. So you, you got to, again, it's, it's a lot like Minecraft if you played that. Um, I haven't actually played Minecraft much either. If you want me to get into that, let me know. Um, but if you want me to see, if you want to see more of uh, this game and you know some of the more advanced stuff, then just uh, again let me know, like, share, subscribe, uh, leave something in the comments. Tell me what you want to see. We could get into boss fights. We can get into you know 
different types of armor and you know further levels in the game um, as far as like levels downward mostly because this is terraria you're going to spend a lot of time digging there are actually uh, islands in the sky as well so you can use um, early in the game you can build giant bridges in the sky if you really want to try and go and find those um, but probably that's going to be more later in the game when you get the ability to fly that's uh, after you've defeated a few of the bosses there's dungeons to explore there's really a lot to this game um, this is just the basic get you started stuff so if you want to see more uh, let me know and um, well, i guess we'll leave it there for now i uh, hope you like the video